With buttons, I can select between the different options of each part of the avatar. In this case, the developer can use the same adboard for each option and initialize a different number input value when displaying each button. For this reason, the file works in a different way. This is the button I create. This is for the color of the body, and this is for the size. This is for the eyes, hair, face hair, and background. All these buttons work in the same way, have the same inputs, and a steam machine. Let's see the color of the body. Here you can see I only use a shape with two fields and one stroke. The second field is to use when I hover in the button. For the animations, I have one animation for each color of the avatar. Then hover and hover. Here I animate the second field and the stroke. So when the cursor is not hovering the icon, the button is darker. And when the cursor is hovering the icon, the button is lighter. And the last one, the activate animation, where the button and the stroke are lighter. In the Steam Machine, I use three inputs. Is icon active to activate the icon? Is box hover to use when I hover in the icon? And num option, which is the input the developer used to display each button. And the layers is similar to the icons. I have one layer for the colors and another layer for hover and activate the button. Now, when I play the Steam Machine, I can hover, activate, or deactivate and activate using the input, and I can change the color using the input num option. Now, the background button works in the same way. I can hover, activate, deactivate, and change the color. For the rest of the buttons, the only difference is that I use solos to switch between the different parts, like I did with the icons. But the Steam Machine works in the same way, using the same inputs. And that's it. This is all about this avatar creator. In the next video, Zach will show you how to implement them using React.